microphone here. You can grab one, just clip one on your ear. Welcome to Synthetic Oil Protection. I'm your host, Evan. We got Jeff here just setting up the uh, his uh, Facebook camera. Yeah. So he's getting that all dialed in. And we got a special, special, special guest, Steven. Now, Steven here, he's been using the products for a few years. So you are now about a year, year and a half. How long has it been, Steven? It's been a year now. now. It's been exactly it's been a year. been a year this month. All right, so Steven's uh, been using it for about a year. And um, he's got his toes wet. There we go. And uh, he's pretty, pretty well satisfied. And uh, so. we got our master technician, Jeffrey Lockett. How Say hi, Jeff. Yep, yep. And uh, so, so we only have three mics, so we're gonna kind of keep it tight here. Two mics. Um, yeah, two, two mics. mics. I'm sorry, two mics. That's yep. okay. And we we'll got we this. got three mics. The other mics right yep. there. We'll have that pointed at. Clip to pill. There you go. Oh yeah. <laughs> awesome. So we're good on that. And uh, yeah, yeah, so just put it put it here. In so we're just getting warmed up. So I'm gonna double check. Everything looks good back here. So today our topic is fuel additives. So yes. we're gonna be talking about this. And fuel fuel additives and fuel systems. Yep, fuel systems. And uh, we we are gonna bring Steven on the channel for a while. He's just been busy doing some bowling and stuff like that. But we finally got him free. He had a little accident with his foot, so now we can weasel him out of there. And now he's here. So we're good. All right. So for the homies on Facebook, um, as I put in the description, I forgot my laptop. Greatly apologize. I will not be able to respond to you live again. I greatly apologize. Please go on and share it with your friends. Uh, start a watch party so uh, everybody can join in because I was Perfect. not able to do All right. so. We're good. So, we're good. Um, had the best intentions in the world today. We were supposed. Oh, I was supposed dim to it down a little bit. That didn't happen. Yep. That's okay. Yep. We're rocking and rolling anyway. We're making it happen. Oh no. All right, so we're rolling. So today uh, we're gonna start out with Steven. Now Steven, um, he really was a little bit gun shy. And it's always good because, you know, if you get tagged at the wrong place, just the smallest bullet can kill you. And uh, that's the same thing with your engine. They say bulletproof protection. That's one of the phrases that Amsoil uses. And uh, so we're gonna kind of explain that a little bit. So Steven said, you know, I wanna try this Amsoil stuff. And what he started with was the Signature Series. So he started with the 0W20, and we ran that in his uh, Tacoma 2018. Yes, sir. And uh, it's the really good V6, and uh, these Tacomas are everywhere. So we everywhere. did everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> so yeah. So we we did his uh, truck, and we did it at 5,000 miles, and we actually changed the oil. We did an oil analysis video. Wow. And the wear in the oil was about four percent. Okay. So oil Minimal. oxidizes exponentially. So for every 18 degrees hotter, it breaks down twice as fast, and it just as it as it uh, ages, it keeps thickening and it keeps burning off. Yeah. And uh, basically, there was next to zero burn off on the truck, right? Yeah, it was still right there, full mark. Yep. You know, three and months later. <laughs> yeah, it was it was completely nuts. So Stephen had to see it to believe it. So now we got through that stage. Yeah. Now we we put some fuel additives in his truck, the PI performance. We were showing that, Jeff. Ooh. Show that to everybody. Our favorite PI right here. Yep. Big fan, and, big fan of PI. Yep, and that cleans your fuel injectors, cleans the carbon deposits out of the combustion chamber, cleans the valves, and uh, it, it can even help with your fuel system for ethanol varnish, all that other stuff. So it's it's a uh, so we did the whole comprehensive experience. And um, Stephen, what would you rate your experience with the AMS oil? What would you give it on a scale of one to ten? I'd give it a ten. Ten for ten. Ten's a great number. Plus, uh, bank for your buck, uh, can't beat it, and, uh, and even just the, the little things like fuel economy increase, like gain a mile per gallon average yeah. on a brand new truck. That's awesome. Like, so, that's a thing. I'm sold on it just for that purpose alone. What's going on with this? Uh, there's something going on with this, huh? Oh, there it goes. All right. Going red. All right, there we go. Oh no, I broke it. Oh, the battery's going bad on it. Ah oh, no. Yep, yep. Let's see. 
Let's see if we got extra batteries. What kind of batteries? Nope, just double A's. So, hmm. I'm gonna Darn. keep the All ball right, so, rolling. Yeah, keep the ball rolling, the Jeff. Ball here. here, we are going to discuss fuel today. Now, Eben's, Eben's job is to uh, Eben's job is to discuss fuel additives. Okay, um, my job and Steve's job is to discuss fuel systems. Hey, hey. so our waitress today. How are you? Come over, say hi. Hey. Right here, hi. Your name is? Tina. This is Tina. She's going to be our wonderful waitress today. Awesome. <laughs> so, little taking, little, taking little notes as we go here. Um, so let us start in the beginning. In the beginning, we had carburation. Um, carburation basically uses the vacuum of the engine to suck the fuel in. Uh, through these little things called venturis, okay, and that goes through the jets. There is a very low, low pressure fuel pump to get the fuel up to the carburetor, but the carburetor does the rest of the job because it fills a fuel bowl, and as the carburetor sucks the fuel out, it continues to refill this fuel bowl, and it has a little float in there almost like the back of your toilet. So when the uh, fuel level is full inside the bowl, then it turns off the flow in. But while you're running, it's always taking a little bit. That's how we start it. Now, carburetors can be affected by several things. Uh, clogged air filters can stop your car from running. Um, losing engine vacuum by either a valve adjustment, uh, blow by piston ring, stuff like that. You'll start getting drivability issues that unfortunately you're not gonna be able to tune out of your carburetor. You might be able to rich in it a little bit, but all you're doing is basically a band-aid for a mechanical condition. Um, so you got what do you got for me on carbs? You got other anything else? Yeah, so let's Extras? go ahead and let's melt into the fuel. Oh yeah, okay. So that was a that was an abrupt segue. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> we started cracking open Stephen's story, and uh, let's do so it. Stephen had this profound discoveries, and we got the ooh, fuel ooh, box. Ooh. So here it is. And oh boy. Steven, this is this is like this is like the YouTube videos that my kids watch. Yeah, Unboxing like, of toys for big people. Yep, it's like a kid on Christmas. <laughs> yes. So we got to see uh, what's in the side. Are you ready? Are you I are you ready so. for this? I hope so. Take a deep breath. Let's do this. So if you don't know, Steven actually became a dealer, and uh, it took a while for him to. to yeah, it's just my invoice. <laughs> get his toes wet and uh, he actually knows how to swim now so yeah. that's the good thing Steven knows how to swim all right so show him the card mm, I got, got a card starter kit all the yeah. products I'll give a close like some product oh, yeah. samples I got I got you even I'm all the way over here boom that's the extreme yes. close-up of the products yes of the products oh yeah, looks like this is like a uh, rules of the road book. Rule. Oh, let's let's right. uh, let's get this up close. Let's see That's here. All right. So we have uh, on the very front of it. It's called the Dealer's Quick Start Guide. We have a uh, Tom Cruise's light-haired stunt double. Yes. <laughs> That's yeah. Tom Cruise's light-haired stunt double. Yes. Now we break into I totally the book. See it. And we right. <laughs> this tells you about the business plan with Amsoil. Lets you know that uh, it is MLM. You can make a couple of bucks if you sell it. But you can also make a couple of bucks if you use it, getting better fuel economy. Yes. Um, let's see here. Fund your passion, potential marketing opportunity. I'm going to go backwards here. Yes. Um, oh, this is even easier for me. <laughs> Where do I start? It lets you know about the, uh, the landing page, which I actually use every day. The landing page right here is wonderful because you can do your product orders. Um, you can look up fluid quantities, viscosities, filters, everything you need for your car. Okay? Easy peasy. We're going to get here. We've got the merch. If you want merch, they got merch. We kind of uh, reinvented our own merch here. That's okay. These will be available. We will talk about uh, having the Express Lube Synthetic Oil Protection shirts available at some point. That's okay. Yes. All right. So, it basically, this is, this is how you do it. It talks about everything that you get when you become a dealer, if you become a preferred customer, I mean, there's just all sorts of stuff. So, really, really cool. Now, um, we don't want to bore anything. Yeah, so I just finished flopping through the book, and 
tell you the favorite story. My mom used to tell me a man was born, he lived, and he died. The end. I like Done. It. Thank you. Quick. To best, the point. Best story ever. <laughs> Steven, if you will, start pulling product. Ooh, what do we got? What do we got? What do we start got? yanking some product out. Oh, you want me to yank, all right? Yank oh. All do you want to change to a natural microphone? We just had one drop off. Uh, we're just going to run with the one. <laughs> run with the one. Which one's the one running? This is the one. All right, so we're good. If we'll, I'll talk at that. That's good. All right. Let's do some spy stuff. Looks like we got some two-stroke. Yep. Ooh. Saber. Yes. Yep. Lawn and garden equipment. Good stuff. Tests and proven at 100 to 1 ratio. That is very little. Yep. All right. We're going to uh, next. I go ahead and put this on the plant. On the plant. Uh, on that's the plant. what it looks like inside. There we go. On the plant. On the plant. All right, we got metal protector. Oh, metal protector. That's some good stuff. This is actually one of my favorites. Even loves the silicone spray, but because cars are made out of more metal than plastic, I believe, I use the metal protector. Yeah, I have to start trying this yeah, out myself. Yeah, it's it. So most, most technicians, and I don't know about you, my preference, I have two preferences of break-free items. Um, I'm a big fan of uh, PB Blaster. Is that what you use, PB? Oh, yeah, PB is... PB is a good one. So this one you can just take There's another yeah. one that I found. It's kind of obscure, but it's called Silicroil. And then all, the metal protection. It's a new one to me. Silicroil, it's... I'm not going to pump it, but I might find you a can. Might, might blow your mind. But MP is definitely awesome. Yes. Um, you get whatever... And this is my trick. Whatever component you're working on, you get it hot if you can. Spray some MP, walk away for 10 minutes, and... Boom, Bob's your uncle. You've got it. I love it, Jeff. So this, we went through the two-stroke oil, right? Yes, sir. Now we're on to the next thing. Two-stroke? Right. Did we go through that? Plenty of jokes. All right. Plenty of jokes. No, we, we talked about it. Plenty of available jokes. You might want to see somebody about that. All right. Yes. All right. <laughs> All right, we have a quick shot. Quick shot. Gasoline treatment and stabilizer. Oh, beautiful. This Perfect uh, for today's topic. Yes. So this is if you let your car sit a lot. Uh, if you have a motorcycle, skidoo. Yep. Give um, a close up of that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Give a close up. Extreme close up. You remember Wayne's World? That was it. <laughs> Beautiful, Jeff. All right. Beautiful. And oh, good old trusty PI. Oh yeah. Why does that look like the shrimp bottle? <laughs> is that the smaller? Is that a smaller version or same? That's the same. Oh, they just upgraded to the new fluid ounce bottle. They just upgraded to the new um, Mike, gasless you hand gas cap bottle, the red one. Oh. So they're actually going to be coming out with that. So you that's know already what? out. Let me let me actually show that. Show that to them. Yeah. Um, because I'm not going to lie, I actually had a customer ask me about that and yes. had to get help. So right here is the new bottle, and uh, Ford has been instituting a capless system. So literally, you take the nozzle. You shove it in, it opens up, you put your fuel in, as you pull out the nozzle, it seals. Preventing no people... Yeah, no loop. No loop, straight up in there. <laughs> but it prevents people from leaving their gas cap off. It was supposed to alleviate a group of problems. I don't believe that it did, right. but that's okay. Um, so yeah, it'll be nice to have a bottle that you can put in there. My customer put it in and it kind of got stuck a little bit they had to do some weaseling to get it out not a big deal definitely not to dissuade you from using it with some careful maneuvering you can have it but uh i'm actually as soon as i'm gonna start carrying this one yeah i, I like i like the uh the versatility now not only did they come out with that new bottle for gasless gas caps but now there's actually a new product that amsoil came out with you can bring that in go ahead and set it down oh yeah yeah mm -hmm. oh, down. beautiful good. right there good oh yeah they All actually came out with a new um top head cylinder lubricant Ooh. so what that is that's like a marvel mystery oil where you put in the fuel diesel gas and what it does is it actually lubricates around the rings lubricates top its cylinder just makes that thing run as smooth as silk that's beautiful and you actually add it to every single tank of fuel whoa so, uh, a lot of people say you know one fuel runs better than another and this and that so that's kind of the differences and uh, that way you never have to worry about your Go engine running smooth you just run the fuel lubricant every fill up and it's about a third of the price of the pi wow. so it's almost next to nothing 
and uh, I can only imagine how much longer your fuel system will last with the extra lubrication. You know, lubrication is very important. So let's yes. talk. Yes. Steven, oh my God! Show yeah. The other booklets. Show them the price. Right here. Oh, I'm on this. So let oh, really yeah. get a price. List. We got a wholesale price list. That's all his prices in there. Got it. Go ahead. We got. Profit margin list. Profit list. Good list. Yep. That gets to know yeah. how much money you can make. Yep. Profit margin list. Income Perfect. opportunities. Goes a little bit more in depth as far as how you can make money and how the system works. Yes. So what this goes over is when you're an Amsoil dealer, it's not like you have to do one thing or the other. You can do anything you want. You can sign up a new preferred customer, a wholesale account. You can sign up a retail account like Jeff retails the items. Ah, perfect. You can set that right mm -hmm. Thank you. You can also sign up from a commercial account like Tractor Trailers. You can also sign up another dealer. So like Jeff is a dealer in my downline, I signed him up and then yep. I signed up Steven. Now Jeff signed up Diesel Steve. I did, Diesel Steve's right under me and then... Uh, yes. That's awesome. So basically there's all these little contributaries and all these different people that you know. Some people have real needs of the product. Some people don't need anything. All they need is is uh, just a bus ticket. Right. But you want to concentrate on anybody that is looking for that little bit more than just a bus ticket. But it, 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 I don't want to dissuade anybody. Yes. If you want to just come get an Amsoil oil change, feel free to do that. You, there's no there's no requirement to sign up. You don't have to do anything. You just give us a call. We'll obviously you know we're going to give you the numbers. Um, so, oh, what do you got? Yes. Oh, show them. Show them. So we're here at the Greek Bistro, and we got this, this wonderful fun. chicken soup yeah, here. Oh, good. Yeah, I was burning. I was like dying. <laughs> super hearty chicken limon. Like moving it so, back and forth so it doesn't you like your blisters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I hate that. All right. I've been eating for a week. Just yeah, because you're in pain. All right, so do we show them the game plan? Yeah, we got the game plan. But we got the game plan. So there's actually there's a ton of reading material in your dealer's list, in your dealer's kit. Uh, and you got some really nice sample products. I can't read. Well, I'm sure that we could hire somebody to I. sit with you right next <laughs> to your bed and read you these wonderful bedtime stories. Because I'll tell you what, you read this before bed, you'll have wonderful dreams. There's no way to have a bad dream. I'll go with that. I'll yeah. stick on that one. Yeah. Um, you know, a lot of people ask me, even if I do this hand oil thing, do I have to sell this stuff? Wait, wait. No. Even if I do this Amsoil thing, am I going to have to sell this stuff? Jeff, you don't have to do nothing. Whoa. Freedom. Really? Freedom. You can do anything you want. So say you're kind of thinking you have to be a part of this thing or you don't have to be a part of anything. That's the best part about it. And uh, you're total free spirit. And uh, if you actually want to become a dealer yeah. say you want to become a dealer under Steven I actually included his link in the description section below Heck yeah. so you click on Steven's link that'll give Steven the credit yeah it's a little link and uh, we also have Jeff's link in there and then of course we got mine in there as well but the main thing is is everyone has their own person they relate to you know Jeff here he's been in the battlefields getting shot at for how many years uh, um. Quite a few now. We're, we're at 20. Yep. Now, Stephen, he's never been shot at really as uh, working for the military, but he sees he sees the aftermath of combat. So I'm going to live on the east side. That's yeah, right. He lives on the east side of Vegas. I would throw up the gang sign, but people could get offended. But we have a sign for east side Las Vegas. <laughs> so, so Stephen, tell us a little bit about your transmission stuff you do. Please. Well, uh... One of the managers at Amco Total Car Care in Henderson. We uh, specialize in transmissions, but we do just about everything. Uh, we are a total car care. Uh, the only thing I don't touch is tires and alignment because I don't have the space nor the money to invest in one of those racks. Same thing. Alignment rack, good one with the lift, 20,000. Easy. Wow. Maso Menos. Huh. Easy. 
Uh, we need to do full transmission rebuilds, diagnostics, clutch work, uh, basic uh, engine drivability issues, uh, and everything from tune-ups to power steering, or bumper to bumper, essentially. It's just right. Tune-ups, transmission, timing. You can do anything, right? Just about. Fantastic. Um, so, what, Stephen, what is your, uh, your specialty? What's your favorite thing... If I put you in a shop and I said you had to pick one thing to do, what would you choose? Ooh, it's tough. I just kind of enjoy it all. Okay. r and is probably my least favorite just because when it comes to front-wheel drives, it gets really cramped and <laughs> I'm not a contortionist. A little bit, a little <laughs> bit. But uh, I'd say diagnostics. Uh, okay. It's probably one of the harder things to do and it's most satisfying when you, you get it right. Absolutely, and, I, and I not agree. Not many people can do it. No, not at all. It's it takes a special touch. It takes um, really. I think the key to diagnostic. Oh, we're amazing! Fantastic. Thank you. Oh, we do every single dish. Oh, they get to see it all. Oh, we give them the address and the phone number. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna give you guys a business card and post them on LinkedIn. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> so diagnostic, you really have to uh, pay close attention to small things. So when your first thing you do. You get in the car before you hook up a scanner or anything. Turn off the turn off the AC. Turn off the radio. Right. All right. Start it up. Listen, because him and I have been in ten thousand Dodge Grand Caravans. Oh my God. <laughs> I know exactly how the starter is supposed to sound. I know how fast it's supposed to kick up. I know when I put it in gear, I should hear a very small clicking sound and then drops into gear. There shouldn't be any waiting shouldn't be along it all this kind of stuff when we drive it we know what the wheel bearings are supposed to sound like we know what the suspension is supposed to feel like these are all things that we've made a bank of knowledge over the years working right. on them so as soon as we get into your car we start paying attention and on top of that a good diagnostician is going to talk to you first if you bring your car somewhere because i know not all of you are here in nevada and that's that's awesome two things if you go somewhere and you get the heebie-jeebies you don't feel right something doesn't sit right in your gut leave don't stay don't ask them questions if you don't feel right where you're at get the heck out of there because two things are gonna happen thank you thank you two things are gonna happen first off first things in your head you now have a certain level of distrust that's okay it might be founded it might be not but any work that they have done you're gonna feel a little uneasy you're gonna question it if you don't like that go somewhere else Talk to somebody you feel comfortable with talking to. Second thing, a good mechanic, good service writer is, uh, first thing I tell when somebody comes in for a diagnostic, I fold my hands nicely and I say, tell me a story. Just like that. I want their story with no input from me. So they say, you know, I was driving on Sunday and I was going up Summerlin Parkway and the car lost power for a couple of seconds and picked back up. Okay, well, was your AC on? What, what was the temperature out that day? Um, how low were you or how high were you on fuel? But I want to hear your input first because so, you know your car. Exactly. So what Jeff is saying is he really likes to listen more than he talks. Now <laughs> on the channel at the moment, yeah. at, the okay. moment, at the moment, Jeff's really expressing himself verbally. It's beautiful. And the reason is because he has to listen so much. And that's what I love about Jeff is he has the ability to really listen clue in take the next step and look at him yeah. he's going to be the most well-known lube shop guy in the in the world here in another six months that's it i mean look at that mustache look at it beautiful like jeff. That. Just beautiful jeff yeah see that's you gotta step it up Beards are legit. i got kinky hair what can i do <laughs> i need you know what i need i need a beard straightening comb because then well, this is out of request jeff does specialty mustache rides oh yeah and that's out of that's a a perfect yeah no it's, it's look, for it's, posturing it's contoured <laughs> it's contoured look there's a little yeah it's a good seat oh man wasn't expecting that one no, no, it's We're terrible. horrible. It's terrible. Yeah, that one Jeff. came out of right field. It's terrible. <laughs> Possibly. So, uh, <laughs> so let's get into fuel, some fuel system stuff. Yeah. Jeff. Go ahead and talk about uh, one so of the we fuel start, systems. So we started with carbonators. Okay. 
All right. Let's get let's get to our page. All right. Those are the good carbs. That's right. Good carbs, not bad carbs. These carbs won't make you fat. They'll make you lazy. Now, if you're just getting to the channel, definitely give it a thumbs up. Oh yeah. If you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe. Tap the little notification bell. That way you'll get notified when we put up a new video or we go live on Thursday night, 6.15 p.m. Las Vegas time. And of course, if you have any questions, leave a comment in the thing. Right Please. now we're doing a lot of yapping, but we will be getting to the laptop and we will be answering your questions in about 10 minutes. Yes, and I'll slide around the corner because I got to look at, I forgot my laptop today, so I can't look at the comments on Facebook. I will momentarily. Uh, Give me some likes, give me some comments, give me some shares. Yes. Start a watch party. Bring your friends in. Let's all have a party here. Yep. So if you're on YouTube, Jeff has his Express Lube and Auto Repair Facebook page. Yep. Definitely get on there, give it a like, and you'll see all kinds of exclusive content. Jeff here comes across as being somewhat you could of fit a him schmuck. in. You oh. can fit him in a regular box, but in reality, he doesn't belong there. He's in a totally different level. He's actually a musician. Magic, magic, musician. That's half magician, half musician. And Jeff's like a Swiss Army knife. He's a specialist. He's a uh, yes. Now. He's yeah. an entertainer, and that's how he keeps himself from death down there in the east side. Absolutely. When he gets butterflies, he thinks someone might come around for the final squeeze. Jeff entertains him, and then that's it. Poof. Yep. Done. Yes. All right. So we discuss carburetors real quick. Now, each one of these steps was done because of available technology and fuel economy. We have been striving since the Clean Air Act of 1961, something like that. Clean Air Act 1961. I know. We have, we have <laughs> tried everything we can to get better fuel economy. So, carburetors, they actually had a, slow, uh, a progression. So, we went with the same system for a very long time. Then, in the late 70s, early 80s, we came out with two really interesting carburetors. They're called feedback carburetors. We have a, um, a quadrajet. Don't listen to what anybody, you'll hear them called horrible names. They'll call like them quadrajunk. They'll call it a quadrajunk. You know why they call it that? Because they have no clue how to work on it. Quadrajet is the most adjustable carburetor that there is. The thing that screws people up is they don't know how to check the dwell on the mixture control solenoid. Look it up, Google it. That's a long conversation, but basically, it has a small metering device in there to prevent it from overfueling. Perfect. Somebody it's just a little button that jumps up and down. Chrysler, wow, eating like an aminal. We'll give them time to eat though. Uh, Chrysler came out with a system called the Lean Burn. So, similar, I'm not exactly 100% on that one. I don't know how that, I've never torn one down. So, we get through carburetors. Then we have this next thing called throttle body injection. Throttle body injection looks like a carburetor in some vehicles but it has one or two electric injectors in there and it's same thing it gets provided fuel pressure and throttle body is not really a high fuel pressure a little bit higher than it was on carburetors carburetors are what three to three to five right three to five psi in some cases less some cases like yeah you'll, you'll blow a apart a motorcraft if you got too much um yeah the throttle body operates anywhere, depending on the car, okay? Anywhere between 10 to 50 PSI. Huge difference, but that's how it works. So it sprays down into the intake manifold, coats, go ahead, coats absolutely everything inside the intake manifold, the valves, and cleans it as it goes. The carburetors clean the most, throttle body cleans the second most, after that, we start getting chances of carbon buildup. Now, we have what we call uh, MPI, which is multi-port injection. I have a phrase I like to call it spray and pray. So, the Makes way, sense. yeah. If you have an MPI car, which is uh, late 80s, mid 90s, early 90s, um, what it does is it only has two spray patterns. If you have a V8, it sprays four and then four and then four and then four because it doesn't know which cylinder's firing. It just knows which four are firing. That's kind of how it does it. A um, lot of fuel waste, but it's still way, way better than throttle body because it sprays the fuel right at the intake ports. So it is spraying the valves, cleaning them, and... Uh, it is mixing right there in the uh, right in the pre-combustion chamber, the uh, the intake runner, and that one is better 
better mileage, but not the best. Now we go up from there. We got SFI, which is sequential, sequential port fuel injection. The vehicle has two sensors that tell it what stroke and what um, what stroke it's on and what cylinder is firing on that stroke. And it specifically sprays a metered amount of fuel into that cylinder. So we went from four and four, and now we're doing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Even better fuel economy. Um, and sequential port is honestly, we hung on to that one for quite a while. Um, I would say what, 95, 96, all the way up until, I'm going to say about 2000 and well, even 9, 10. Even still today. Yeah. Even still, you still do have SFI vehicles. Um, but let's talk about the new shit. That new, direct new shit. Direct injection. That's right. Gas direct injection. I got both. Oh, nice. You got gas in, in your uh, Toyota? Yep. That thing's got 12 injectors. Wow. Wow. All right. Well, I mean... That's a thing. I mean, there's no reason you can't. Fuck it. They've got manufacturers that put two spark plugs per cylinder. If you have yourself a wonderful, wonderful uh, Hemi, you have two spark plugs per cylinder, and people get pissed off at me when I tell them the price of a tune-up. Yeah. The labor time on 16 spark plugs, a little bit more than eight. Yeah, a little bit. You're paying for 16. Uh, in most cases, the newer ones are... No, they're still copper core, aren't they? They're still using the copper or single plat. I want to say they're platinum on the newer ones. They're either yeah, yeah they're either copper core or single plat. No, they're, they're iridium. Are, no, 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 no. no. Iridium. Oh. They are not iridium. They are a, a lower, lower temperature plug is basically what it works out to be. And the way that a dual plug per cylinder system works is awesome. It's specifically for fuel economy and emissions. Uh, it fires as it's on the exhaust stroke to burn up any unspent fuel. That's basically it's it's a uh, scavenge. It's it's uh it's burning off that little bit extra just to give you that much more fuel economy. It works. Yeah, wow. It works. Fuel economy and uh, emissions. God, I hate that third cylinder by the brake booster. Yes. Yeah, it's a horrible one. It's, it is a horrible one. I've actually always, had my guy always playing the game. Which extension combo is going to let me get in there without getting stuck? Uh, you know what I do? I actually stack little extensions. So I'll take the plug socket and put a three inch extension drop it down put another three inch extension and then the third one if you have to yeah i got lucky i got a long enough spark plug socket that it sticks just far enough out of the hole oh the mac tools yeah mac tools deep one yeah so just so you know he and i have access to tools you can't buy one of the reasons we give our snap on giveaways is because I can get it and give it to you. You can't buy it, so I'm giving you exclusive merch. I love that. Good stuff. Oh, I got another thing coming down the pipeline. I love Some that. Good Jeff. stuff. I got a friend who works at a, a company called Auto Plus. They've changed their name. They called yep, it. Yep. So Auto Plus, he's gonna bring us down some merch and uh, we're gonna get some of that that uh, giveaway too. Who's your Auto Plus rep? Uh, Jason. Same. Yeah. Shout out to my homie Jason. Uh, from Auto Plus, he takes he takes fantastic care of us. He takes care of you. Yeah, he does a pretty good job. Good, good. Who takes care of Suzanne? Yeah. There you go. Oh, big yeah. oh. shot. Suzanne is probably watching. Suzanne, we love you. I still I still call her sometimes when I need something that I know other people aren't going to find. I'll give a call to Suzanne and she'll take care of business. So, Mechanic Field in this town is kind of small okay. we're doing fantastic we will need some baklava but after i power through some of this sounds good You're let awesome. me know if you guys need bags or boxes can i get another dr pepper please oh yeah no jeff no just like your car you don't have to run it on cheap gas that's you right you don't have to have baklava with all the sugar but you know what i'm going to because what did you say I can do whatever I want. Exactly. <laughs> Jeff Schmott, he really knows how to listen. I like that, Jeff. Great ear, Jeff. And I'm a smart ass. I like High it. High five. You're the best, Jeff. <laughs> Thanks. So, yeah, so we're having loads of fun here. You know what? Let's get some questions. I'm going to go look. Go ahead. You start there. I'll start over here. Let's do a little deep sea dive in here. Kind of get our toes wet. Start at the top slowly work our way deeper down towards the bottom. Oh. So right here we're starting out with questions. 
Got some great people on the channel today. Really appreciate you watch, tuning in. We'll start out at the very top. Mike C, hello, glad to watch. Uh, possibly relates to fuel and novice and fuck. Of course, yeah, we're live right now. All right. So, yeah, we're YouTube. We're rock and roll. Yeah. And Facebook. It's a simulcast. It's just 7,000, that's it. 7,000. We're getting it. here. That's it. That's we're, it. We're coming around the corner. I mean, look. I, I don't have a YouTube, but I'd have like two. PewDiePie has that's like good. 14 billion. That's I good. I don't even know who that is. Though. Good. 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 <laughs> good. 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 All right. So coming on down, we got AMG Meister. Uh, hey, even what is your opinion on Motul engine oil? It's 100% synthetic. So yeah, there are a couple other. I think Motul is French. 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 And uh, it's a beautiful Somewhere place. They the make city. wonderful pistachios. I know that. And um, I sometimes I do a character on Facebook called the French Jim's Bond. And he talks about his gym a lot, but we're not going to do that here. No, I'm just kidding. That's terrible. <laughs> but uh, is it better? What do I know about it? I don't know anything about it. I don't know what the comparison studies are. I know I think it's a little more expensive because it's from overseas. So you're going to pay a little more for the French oil. Um, there's also another oil that a lot of people like, Enos oil. They talk about that. That's for a lot of the Jap cars. Enos. Oh. And uh, Yep. So we're going to keep going down. Mike C., um, it has to do with the 160,000 mile car. Looks like I he's think got a two my fuel, there. Yeah, my fuel system piston area is possibly dirty. I have to use high octane gas all of the sudden to have optimal ignition timing. But Ooh. if I use a fuel cleaner, do you think I can go back to 87? Sure. Of mm. course. No, no. Let's talk about octane. Oh my no. gosh. So all right. when I was in high school, I got the best explanation of octane. Uh, from an Air Force captain. All right. Uh, I was a nerd. I was in JROTC, and I had a great time doing nerd stuff. And um, so we learned about octane. Now, everybody thinks of octane as each one is either hotter or more explosive or whatever. It's going to make your car run better. Wrong. Wrong. Absolutely. So, if you've ran your car for a long time and have not done any fuel system cleaning, um, foam cleaning, anything like that, you turn your vehicle into a crack baby. Now, old school, right? Old school with a lot of fuel, compression would lower over time. New cars, compression increases. Why does compression increase? Carbon to build up. Carbon build up on the tops and bottoms smaller, of the valves. In this smaller area it. inside a combustion yeah. chamber. And this is what removes it. Yeah. On top of that, though, if you've gotten to the point where you're having to use 91, because I had, I had a crackhead Nissan Altima that would only run well on 89. And my wife told it to me, and I was just like, I'm like, come on. No, it's a little four-cylinder. It's not high enough compression, blah, blah, blah. She's like, I don't care what you're saying. It runs better on 89. She was 100% right. We actually got better fuel economy per tank. That's how you know you have the exact right fuel. Whichever fuel gives you the best fuel economy, which is probably the one out of your book, with the exception of crack babies. Um, but the, the way to solve that problem, power foam. Power foam will go into the system because of the way we do the service. And you can go back and look. We did a power foam on the Humpy Bread Man. Yep, and we'll put that right here in the corner. Right here in the corner. Yep, right, right up there. there. Yeah, yeah thank you. Um, we also did the uh, the Forerunner, right? We did uh, what? 369,000 mile yeah. Forerunner. And that on one. On another gentleman named Steven. Yes. Good old Toyota reliability. Yes. That's right. And he's a hot oh, shot hey. barista. And Steven is a He's real, a mothership, right? Yep, he's a mothership. Mothership. Coffee. He's a real character, Mother and uh, he's got the eyes, these distinctive eyes, like Billy the Kid. When Ooh. you get that look, you know, at any second there could be a draw and a pop. It's kind of like you Tom know? Cruise. Yeah, a little yeah. bit. Yeah. A little bit. But not Steven's long, even... Not double, though? No, not this. <laughs> that looks like Tom Cruise. Look, let's. I'm just going to bring this back. That's called the callback. That looks like Tom Cruise's stunt double. It really does. It has to be. All right. Go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, it's okay, Jeff. I like it. I like it. So, yeah, so we did that. So we'll put a little link to that power foam. And that what that is, it kind of like takes all the junk out of your engine that's evaporated and pasted in there. It becomes gunky, sticky, tarry, disgustingly grimy stuff all through in throughout your engine. <laughs> power foam just it disperses and pulls it down. 
It melts carbon. Yes. It melts carbon. There's only one other foam that I've ever used in my life um, that's even close to comparable. Um, AC Delco makes the, the GM foam, the top end cleaner stuff. I learned about this foam because we would have issues carbon. EGR valves. Oh, that's another carbon maker right there. Holy cow. That's another day, though. That's a whole other... Oh, that's yeah. its own day. Yeah. So carbon builds up inside, and sometimes it'll plug the passageway, turning on your check engine light because it doesn't like that. And uh, the way I've cleaned it before is spray that foam on there and just let it dissolve the carbon. It will eat it away. Uh, it does the same thing. You get your engine nice and hot. You do the foam treatment, you sit there and spray it until the can is gone while keeping it running from the, somebody, it takes two people. Yep. And as uh, soon as you're done with the can, cut it off. Turn it immediately off so you can let that, that stuff, soap. yeah, sit in there and just soak up and suck it all in. And then after, what do we do, 15 or 30 minutes? And 15 minutes is fine. It's not gonna do more in 30 minutes that it does in 15 because the foam, turns back into a liquid and just kind of sinks to the bottom of everything. Now this PI cleaner, this actually works in a few gallons. So you'll see between about two to five gallons, if you put this in, say half a tank of gas, about 10 gallons, as soon as you drive through five gallons, you can already feel a difference. Yeah. And uh, amazing what I, this stuff I can do. I felt it sooner than that. I'm not even gonna lie. Oh yeah. I yeah. I felt it within six miles. I was on my ride home, it was running a little, the Honda, Run a little bit rough, but I put PI in on my way home before I left. By the time I got three quarters of the way down Boulder Highway, I was pretty happy. Now, for all you diesels out there, whether you got an over the road truck, show them Jeff, give it to him. Give it to him. Beautiful, Jeff. Beautiful. That's our Cetane boost. Yes. And it does three things. Ooh. So, what this is, this is the sophisticated top head cylinder lubricant. Oh, I can count that high. Yep. Seven. Yes. <laughs> so I think this, I made it. Yeah, so this actually lubricates your top head cylinders around your rings, really smooths out your idle, which you'll see a wonderful demonstration where we almost had a over-the-road trucker almost cry. He, uh, he was just so emotional the way his truck drove, and I'll put a link to that. That's our Peterbilt MX-13 pack car, 12.9 liter uh, inline V8 twin oh, turbo. And, hey, wait. Inline eight cylinder? I think so. Okay. I think so. Not inline V8. I've never seen inline, inline V8. Inline uh, eight cylinder. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yes. That's a fucking monster. Yes. And it has it's a, a mile long. It's a 500 crank horsepower and 1730 torque. And uh, that sounds low. Right now, he's averaging, I know it does, he's averaging seven and a half miles a gallon right now. Wow. And that's maxed out at 80,000 pounds. You know, I actually drove So we're U-Haul. actually doing a test on that. Yeah. So keep your shoes and socks on, get ready to run and see that coming up. But the other thing this does is it cleans your combustion chambers. Ooh. And it actually increases cetane, which is power and startability. So say you have just terrible gas, you're in the middle of nowhere. The last gas station you see is the worst, ugliest, disgusting gas station you can ever think of. And you say, God, don't eat sushi. I bet they're using <laughs> they're using whale schnot in your diesel truck. Well, if you put this in there, it's not going to get as gooey and gunky with the schnot. And you're also going to make more crank horsepower, which is going to get you better gas mileage. And you say, well, even. Even. How much better gas mileage could it get? How much better gas mileage could it get, even? Let's just show them. Show me. Up to eight percent better fuel mileage. That was close right to seven. Here. Up to eight percent in just one treatment, and you'd never think that it'd really do that much, but once you feel it, it's just a miracle. And uh, we actually did another video where I had a, a guy with a, a Duramax. We put this in. Okay. And it blew his mind right when he started up. We did an engine flush on it, and we did the fuel additives. So uh, the, the additives are such a wonderful little uh, piece for keeping your engines running good. And then we got the new top head cylinder lubricant coming out for the gas engines yeah. that complements the PI. And you can actually use it in conjunction. I like that. So you can use the lubricant and the PI at the same time, clean your whole engine from the inside out and lubricate it so it runs smoother than silk. So the, uh, the old school, old school way to do those kind of things, right? Yes. I had a friend, and he was having an issue with blow-by. All right. So what an old an old timer told him to do 
is he said, get your car up and running. 85 Chevy Monte Carlo SS. Mm, that's a that's a beauty. We took above the carburetor. I was 19 and I didn't know my elbow from my bung hole. But we took this bottle of ATF over the carburetor and poured in the entire bottle while the vehicle was running. Guess what? It worked. It's, ATF is a wonderful it cleaner. It slowed the blow by. It cleaned out the carbon. Another one. Oh my gosh. Pouring water into the carburetor. Have you ever heard that? Yeah, I spray water and methanol into mine. Oh, no, 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 but no. Yeah, I know. Same thing. Same These thing. guys, no, worse than that. They would go a little bit overboard, and you would hear knocking, clattering, and basically what they said it did, it knocked the carbon out. God. I don't know that I want to knock the carbon out, but again, we've discussed this before. Older vehicles have much, much looser tolerance. Um, so you can get away with some stuff. You go do that on a little Nissan Versa that takes 020. Everything is tight. You're done. Yeah, that's the end of your day. My, my Volkswagen, like a tight tolerance on a crank bearing is like 3,000. So that's like what you're going to be on the tight side. Yeah. Uh, that's worn out by today's spec. We're measuring I, microns now. I, I, cut, I cut half that off of a rotor when I'm doing a brake job. Yeah. That's <laughs> awesome. Yeah, no. So back in the day, you had room. And that goes back to we talk about oil viscosities all the time. In a Volkswagen bug, 2050. Do it. Yes, so we got see? to answer a couple more right. questions here. I like questions. So let's keep going. So now we got Earl R. Uh, Orland. Good evening, all. Thanks, Earl. Good evening, Earl. Good seeing you, my ostentatious, bodacious, sophisticated broskies. Thanks for checking out the channel. Giving it a thumbs up, being a big part of it, writing comments, sharing it. Really appreciate it. Jordan Wilson, I own a 2000 Chrysler Cruze. Is running a bit rough. Will the engine blow by if I... It, will my engine blow if I put in PI injector and fix the poor idle? Will it help? Thanks. Fix. Uh, or will it help fix it? Will, will it blow it, or will it help? It sure will help. A Chrysler. Was this a Chrysler Cirrus? Okay. Cirrus. You had me confused. I was thinking new car, older car. 2000 Chrysler Cirrus. Let me tell you. First things first. Can't it's got. <clears throat> It's, I don't know what that is, Jeff. It's I'm a Dodge, in outer space. It's a Dodge Neon with a different body. Oh, my. That's exactly... You had two options on the motor. You had a Mitsubishi... Well, they're all Mitsubishi engines. They had the bad Mitsubishi engine and the not-so-bad Mitsubishi oh engine. Did he say... Not so bad. Did he say four? Four-cylinder? Oh, my God. That's terrible. Did he say nah, four-cylinder? didn't say four-cylinder. I just asked if... Uh, okay. All right. Will it blow if you put PI in it, it's or will not, it help? Jordan, it's not going to blow. It's not going to blow. sorry. Oh. It is going to help. Um, also on those, copper core plugs, you need to do your tune-up every 30,000 miles, do the wires. Um, also on that, make sure you do the PCV valve, check the breather system because that top hose loves to crack, and throw an air filter in there. That with a bottle of PI and throw a signature on there, I'm hoping with all that your idle will smooth out. If not, you have something bigger Show going Show him the on. engine flush. That's and what he wants. Flush it. Um... I don't know what's going on with his car. I'm not going to tell him to do an engine flush. Yeah, you know what? You have to be... Look, we cannot... Even though this stuff works miracles, yeah. all the Amsoil product works wonderful, you cannot use a liquid to fix a mechanical problem yeah, unless exactly. it's super glue. Exactly. So, yeah, Jordan, if there's something wrong with your physical engine, uh, nothing gun. here is going to fix it if it's physically broken. Yeah. Now, if it's just build up this is all going to take build up out the flush yeah. is going to take it out the pi the power foam it's going to take it out but uh just be yeah. use your common sense and it's time for phone numbers if you have a question or issue yes. we're going to shoot you the phone numbers uh you can call me directly at the shop 702-433-5823 and we'll put we'll put uh, the numbers down in the uh down in the comments Yep. Um, other number I have, the hot the hot chat bat line, if you want to text me, 702-907-9227. Eben, he can answer questions too. Eben, what's your number? 702-472-3614. You can call me anytime. Say it's 1.30, 4 o'clock in the morning. Call him. You're thinking about going to bed, but you can't because you can't stop thinking. And that's a good thing because the more you think, you can get smarter. You can actually plan things in your life. You might get somewhere, which is a good thing. Yes. Like Jeff. Yes. Jeff is really becoming a thinker. So at that point, you just can't rest. Your heart's palpitating. Your mind's spinning. You're thinking about going down and eating more food, but you don't want to. Call me. 
call me at one, two o'clock in the He'll morning. He'll talk you off the roof. He yep. will talk you off the ledge <laughs> at two yeah. o'clock in the morning. Or, or if he doesn't talk you off the ledge, you will have jumped. That's it. There's only two options. Yep, that's pretty much but it. Eben's not lying. Call him. He will answer. Yes. No bullshit. Yes. And I'm not that big of a deal. So you might think, well, this guy has a YouTube channel. That I'm a regular person. I, uh, you know, I don't even know what I do. Uh, I what do I do, Stephen? Ooh. Um, I don't even know what I do. Now. You know what? I will give this away. I got distracted. I it's will okay. give this away. It's a good thing. And I will clean this up. This is not your job. Uh, it is more, my job. More awa. Awa. Let's see. Okay. Um, is there? Baklava. How many? I'll pass. I'm fine. You pass in or I'm go? I'm good. I'm going for it. All right. So how many come in an order? Thanks for being patient. One? But it's one so, one. All right, let's go with it. Back to what we're getting to. You have a case on the floor. Oh, shit. Thank you. Back to what we're getting to. Back to what we're getting to. Is, uh, we're starting to melt into contacting. Now, Steve and I put his information in the description. Mm -hmm. We also have Steven's link, and uh, it would be a real blessing uh, on Steven's sake, a blessing of the Amsoil gods that uh, someone that's watching this video could be Steven's first uh, first person. Yeah, so if absolutely. So if you want to get a wholesale account, pop my customer cherry. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can, you can pop Steven's cherry here, Get uh, try some of the Amazon products, and you'll get them at wholesale with the preferred customer booklet. Yeah. And what this is, this is a sophisticated quarterly magazine, and I they send it. it out basically every three months. You could call a quarter. Yeah. And uh, they do that because there's just no reason to spoil all those poor trees with all this paper. Yeah. And uh, basically what you do is you get all this information and explains how the products me. work. Yep. It shows new products, gives you new updated technical bulletins. Squeeze bags with the shiz net. Yes. yes. You got it. It gives you so, it's just so much submerged in the product that you already know what you're looking at. And uh, when you see it, feel it, touch it, play with it, that's when it becomes real. So the only way that's going to happen is if you use Steven's link, and that way you can say, you know what, that Amsoil stuff, it's almost too good to be true. That's the real deal. Yeah, and that's kind of what it takes, and it's uh, it takes a process. It took Steven how long to come around that corner? Oh, we're working on a year now. As far wow, as, uh, that's longer than me. And, uh, yeah. Uh, taking the step to become a dealer. Great things come with time, I guess. Absolutely. Did you use the product before you switched, or did you switch first? As far as being a did dealer? You, did you try anything before you committed? To being a preferred customer? No, uh, I, I just committed to being a preferred yeah. customer to get that discount. I mean, that's, the, the 20 see, bucks you spend for a PC, uh, you save it on your first order if you're buying one oil change. Yeah, so, absolutely. I mean, it was worth it right there. And then, so Over the had, course of a year, it was oh, like, oh, what? I almost forgot. I almost uh, forgot. What, what did we forget? forget? There's actually a promotion going on. What? Tell me about it, even. It started yesterday, and what it is, and when you, on any order of 75 bucks or more, you're going to get a promotional code in your email. If you're an Amazon preferred customer, you're going to get the gun lubricant and gun cleaner, and that's complimentary with any order of $75 or more. And I'm going to show you that here. I completely forgot about that. I can't believe I did that. Uh, it's right here. I'm going to pull it up and show you what it is. But basically, if you're using your guns in sub-zero temperatures, it's very important. <laughs> okay. I like fire. That yes. is our buckle Steven's actually That's an avid amazing. gun shooter. So he loves Just getting out of the desert. You've never shot anybody yet, Steven, have you? Thank you. No? No. All right. Good. Not with... Uh, a lethal fire. Yeah, no. Nah. Right. So here's the gun cleaner. I'll show you what the gun cleaner looks like. So this is looks like gun cleaner. On. Looks just like gun cleaner. That's so awesome. not only do you get uh, the products at a discount, but you also get different promotions. So right now the gun cleaners are on promotion. And that's the uh, gun cleaner. Flip it there. around, you got a much better picture even. Oh, yeah. Right. Rotate. Flip to the back uh, page. There oh, right there, there it the is. There's the Look gun at cleaner. that. So they show the big... Uh, gun cleaner and lubricant, 100% synthetic lubricant, and that allows your guns to work a lot better mechanically, uh, less wear on the mechanisms and all the different things on them. Ooh. So that's I'll have uh, to try some of that in my Beretta. 
fouls the piston on that tool. Okay, it's so bad. Yes, and you'll see a lot of reviews on this lubricant online, so you, you can definitely type that in. So that just kind of gives tasty. gives you an idea of when you become a preferred a customer that you get a lot of other promotions with it. You get the free shipping on any order, $100 or more, and you also get the 25% off, and you also get the promotions where they give you free products uh, when you order like 75 bucks or more, which is real easy. Yeah, you, you order an Amsoil filter, some PI cleaners, some flush, you're right there at 100 bucks. You got the free shipping, and uh, it just, your car is gonna thank you a million times. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So, I mean, there's there's no reason not to do it. All right, so are we gonna continue on fuel systems or you got some more stuff for me? Let's go ahead and uh, answer a couple more questions and we'll wrap her up here. We got our ostentatious, bodacious uh, Lucas E. Uh, you said even, damn it, grow up and grow a beard like the other guys. Oh, yeah. So, hey, Finally, a it man makes of culture. sense. Now, when I find a girl that needs that extra little friction, <laughs> then I'll start doing the whole mustache rides. But until I get mustache ride requests, no can do on any we got, mustaches. We got we got a nickname for even. We call him Sizzle Chest. It's okay. <laughs> See, he likes it. Doesn't grow a lot of hair, you know. Just sizzles a little bit. <laughs> I love it. We got Sean Braun. Hey, Sean. What's up, Sean? Thanks for getting out there racing around in the Mopar muscles. It's great to see you doing some bullish stuff, laying down stripes. I love seeing him at the car shows. Real character, and he's a huge part of the channel. He is. Sean's probably going to be coming around that corner soon. Oh yeah. We can't say it, but we don't want to jinx him. He no. might, you know. But we just let him come. We got Chris nine one one. Hey, how's it going? We got bad, but uh, duh. Where can I pick up that? Just use the link in the description section below. You can order the products. Uh, want to go back 87 yes i think they are on a uh, tangent tonight sean braun great great uh insights there you're right we went on a tangent like always we always go surfing we got stiff at the pata patata patata keep working it guys that product speaks for itself i like that it does I like that true so Try even, it. I've been using shell gas since I bought my truck. I've had it for eight years now, and I've noticed lately it runs better on 89, uh, has worse mileage than 87, has it turned to a crack baby. Yes. So yes, basically what happened, you got all this gunky carbon in there. Once you remove it with this, what's gonna happen, you're gonna get restore your original compression ratio. And the foam, always, with, with that with issue specifically. Yep. PI and the yes. foam. Don't, yes. don't think that it's not a one-shot kill. That foam is going to break it up off the back of the valves and the faces of the valves. And you know, go ahead and do an engine flush, too. Absolutely. Do an engine flush, yeah. too. Cleans the valves, quiets lifters, gets oh, all yeah. that pasty gunk out of there. If you have a turbo car, the flush also gets turbo coking out of the inside of the turbos. Also cleans oil cooler ports. <clears throat> so say you got a huge, you know, oversized oil crankcase that's got all kinds of oil cooler lines, cleans it all out, thins it out. Well, and the uh, the turbo, the the T oh TSI uh, Volkswagens, the direct yeah, injection, and those things have such a problem with sludging. Um, First off, if you own a Volks, Volkswagen or an Audi, newer ones, uh, type of oil you pick is very important. And your maintenance and stain That's on I don't that. I agree with the... You don't. See, uh, the dealer recommended 10,000 mile services just because I, I worked at Volkswagen for a bit. Okay. With the OEM oil and stuff. Oh, and oh we missed somebody. Oh. Sludges up so uh -oh. quickly. And Brian. <laughs> Sorry, Brian. We, we didn't try to miss you on purpose. All right. Brian Davenport. I'm in a leaving protection of my engine on the table by go from 020 SS to 020 XL, put 6,000, 6,500 miles on the oil, and I use the Amsoil filter. What's your thoughts? Six so, yeah, you're not losing any protection. He's asking, is there a loss in protection from going from 100% synthetic signature to XL at 6,500 miles? That's nothing. No, you're that's nothing. absolutely fine. Yeah. Absolutely fine yeah, with that. Yeah, 6,500 miles is nothing. The XL oil is actually good for one year, 12,000 miles. Okay. Yep. All right. And so. just remember, guys, 
you'll see that little teeny money sign. If anybody super chats five bucks or more, that money goes into the giveaway at the end of the month, yeah. and that'll also get us a signature slap. And you Ooh. just never know when it's coming. Never. Never. Like, we're all just that? we're all waiting with bated breath. <laughs> no. so. Don't slap me. Don't slap. <laughs> That would be horrible. Do the bottle on. slap, but pull the bottle right at the last second. Coming Ooh, on down. Good way to get stabbed. <laughs> um, I think we're doing okay. I know. I'm still cracking at it. I'm not done yet. We got. Uh, I think I need to try. Gulf yeah. Coast Surf on the website. They have a PDF. All right. Uh, what oil filter should I use on a 2009 Toyota Highlander using Signature Series? I would use the Ems oil uh, filter, uh, Jose, and uh, that's probably a similar filter to what's in Steven's truck, but just look it up with the lookup guide. You go down the description section, you'll see it says they make Ems oil for all the vehicles. Click on that, plug in the year, make model engine size, and ship boo boo. You'll see your oil filter for your car. And that'll pop up a whole package if you want. You can go individually or say, do you want to? Uh, make it a whole package. Ah, I love that. That speeds up checkout. Yeah. Yeah. So you don't got to go through and click. Okay, I need seven quarts. You just say, okay, boom, and add seven quarts in your filter. Boom. And do you want an extra top-off filter? Nice. Or not filter, quart. Top-off. Yeah. Quart. Yeah. Yep. Grab an extra quart of oil just Absolutely. for safety. Absolutely. Coming on, Don. Back to uh, Mzetix. Should I run PI at higher concentrate or run two bottles in the back-to-back -back tanks? car has 60,000 miles, never had any fuel treatment added. I'll tell you what I do. What would you do, Jeff? All right, so um, in my Honda, I have about a 13-gallon tank topped off. I pour it into about half a tank. Yep. I, I run it concentrated, so that is one bottle that treats 20 to 6 or 7 gallons of fuel. So, yeah, I like it. I, I learned that there was a long time ago. I was having an issue with my truck running, it was a little bit rough, and they had this thing back in the day called Berryman's B12 Chem Tool. Oh man, hey, I still use that stuff Do you really? Okay. And if you're just arriving to the channel, definitely give it a thumbs up, it helps out the channel. Link up and here. also, share this with a friend that needs help with their car. Yes. Say they always seem to have trouble, the car never starts, they're always bothering you. Well, you don't want to hear that anymore, so share the channel so you don't have to hear them complain about their car. Because <laughs> once they start to take care of it, don't complain to us. Exactly. Let them come to the channel, complain to us. Master Technician Jeffrey here yes. will be 100% there by their side, helping them step by step, turn by turn, key start by key start. And uh, Jeff... 100% 100 synthetic information here. Boom! Yes. Get it here live. Yes, and Jeff is... Uh, Smooth. He's better than a safety net in a circus. That's right. Um, it's just amazing. You couldn't... You know, you can fall wrong in a safety net, maybe break your neck. With Jeff, your car will... It'll never... He can revive anything. I'll catch you. Yes. I'll catch you. No. Yes. No, no, no. Now, let me be very, very clear about this. Yes. I will condemn your car. No bullshit. Oh, babe, going a little crazy, but... If you bring me a vehicle that in my heart I would not fix, I'm going to tell you I do not think you should do this repair because generally we're talking about a major repair. We're talking $1,500, $2,000, $3,000. $3, if it's a car that's not on the Jeff Prove list, um, I'll tell you to sail it down the river. And I, I would much rather be honest with I you. I love you for that, Jeff. Yeah. Love you. I, I, I want... Look businessman I want your money true but I don't want you unhappy because when you have let's say you got a 1995 Buick LeSabre Ooh. bomb I mean those are those are good cars they'll last a while PT Cruiser oh okay yeah don't if you have a, if you have a PT Cruiser and your radiator fan goes out and it blows a head gasket might be time for a new PT Cruiser uh, or any other car something else please I'm actually, so what Jeff is saying I'm actually good on PT this, Cruisers. Jeff's got this glowing hot, and no matter what, he'll never let you down. And uh, if he does, he'll let you down slowly, and that way nothing's going to break. And that's all that matters is that everyone gets help. Sometimes you got to be the automobile oncologist. Yes. It's just how it is. Coming on, Don, to our uh, bodacious bro, Gennaro Salishnalampatabampa. Wow. What is the foam stuff you're talking about? What oh. does it do? When, why should I use it? 
So we're gonna put a link to the power foam right here in the corner, yeah. right over there. Watch the video. Yep, and we're gonna get, uh, we're gonna just submerge you inside engines. That's okay. what's gonna happen to you. The other thing, Chris, but what were the benefits? Uh, send the PT gave that point. Da, da. Send the PT it's to actually, the grave at that point. Oh yeah, that's cute. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> it's actually amazingly car cleaner and steroids. I like it. All right. So yeah, so that pretty much sums it all up. Okay. Jeff, what type of closing note should we have? Um, well, here's the thing. Look at your manufacturer's user guide. Don't put the highest fuel in. Put the fuel you need. If it is yes. not running correctly on the fuel you need and you don't want to take it to a technician or anything like that, ah. bottle of power foam, bottle of PI, engine flush, and oil change should help you out. Don't forget um, the air filter. Don't forget the air filter. Boom. One of the um, most overlooked pieces on a car. Air filter and PCV valves, they're forgotten about. Now, um, Jeff, we didn't get into biodiesel and all that yet. Holy and moly. And running animal fats and use motor oil as diesel fuel. Should we do a part two on next time? Uh, you know what? We we did miss a few things. We I, I briefly talked about what... Octane is a word, but I didn't discuss what octane does. Should we do a part two, Jeff? So let's do a part two. Octane, cetane, uh, biodiesels, and uh, let's see. Oh, ethanol. Yes. We got we oh. got corn squeezing E85. You know what? Yeah, we got another episode on fuel. And you know, I love the guys that talk about they use old, dirty, old motor oil as engine oil and diesels. So we should talk about that. I like the and turbo also, guys that throw out that E85 and are blasting 500 horsepower out of a Civic because the octane of E85 is not 85. Yeah, I like that, Jeff. 85% ethanol. Yeah, yes. it's like 100 and, what did they say, 106, 107? 110. Yeah, 110. It's, it's, it's close to 110. They did a thing on Engine ratio. Masters, yeah. and it's very close to 110. It's a ratio. But E85, you can have a sloppier tune, and those mothers still run pure. Yes. The problem is you got to run about 150% fuel consumption yes. Yes. over yes. Yes. Absolutely. gasoline. Absolutely. So that's, that's where you get into the high-flow fuel pump and injectors. Now you can't get a... Uh, uh, ethanol is... Ethanol is that uh, that drink you can't drink enough of. Oh yeah, it's, but but that's look. We're that's gonna get next to that. week. We're yes. gonna get to that. And also keep your shoes and socks on. Ooh. We're gonna have a character that's oh, like no one. On, then. All right, put your shoes and back there. We're gonna bring a character that's like no one you've ever seen. And this guy's another barista. Oh. And his name is Anthony. <laughs> Anthony I, is I a, thought you were talking about Wick Stevens. I, I still have a couple of weeks before I can see Wick again. Yeah, we're going to see uh, <laughs> Wick the Dick Stevens again. Oh, this guy. Yep. It'll be fun. Yep. So uh, basically, our, our good man Anthony is going to be coming up next. Um, Anthony's got the Subi WRX 2017. Okay. He's got the Mickey Mouse 2.0 liter turbo. And we're going to be doodling around with that a little bit. And Steven's going to bring some insights into what's it like to own one of these little Mickey Mouse cars? What makes it what it is? And why did they ever make it? And Steven's going to answer questions on the manufacturer and how they feel about the people that pay real money for a car that's this big. So Sub Subaru owners are some of the most loyal, loyal car customers that there are. Very true. Uh, I've driven a lot of Subarus. I don't have one, but that's because I haven't bought one. Um, one day I'll have a Subaru. Don't know which one, but I really, really like them. They're they're pretty easy to work on for me. Um, some of the shit's a little hard. Do a head job on a Subaru. Yeah, it sucks, but aside from that, they're great. As long as you stay away from the CBT, you're good. Yeah, but then again, you know. sucking can be a good thing, Jeff. That's right. So, yes. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, let's uh, let's go ahead and pump phone numbers again. Even? All right. My cell phone number. You can call Oof. me anytime. One, two o'clock in the morning. Can't sleep. You call me. 702-472-3614. Give me a buzz. Give me a text. If you're thinking about hitting a button on the website and you're going to buy like uh, X amount of product and you just can't click the button because you need confirmation to talk to me to make sure it's okay that the computer's not going to blow up in your face when you hit the, the purchase button, give me a call. Steven, how can they get a hold of you? Steven, give where, us a number. And where do you work at? Uh, you can call me at the shop uh, Monday through Friday. Uh, phone number is 702-558-7558. Uh, transmission questions or uh, total car care, just about anything. Whatever, questions. happy to help. Um, 
even if you want to come down and get something checked out you think it's just not shipped to just right or bring it down we'll check it out it doesn't cost anything now i've known a lot of people that work on cars some people might know steven think he's younger got nothing to do with age age is nothing but a number this kid right here steven he's no longer a kid he's an expert with transmissions heart. he's a kid at heart he's an expert with transmissions and he's going to be the best up and cup and uh, transmission shop in the world here in probably just another three to five years age is nothing but a number yep i sure started so. i started <laughs> running be. my shop i was 26. yep i was the youngest guy at my shop customers would go talk to my lube techs and my mechanics because i was just some kid around there what they didn't know is i was the highest trained guy there um and I know my stuff. Wouldn't have made manager of, a, of the facility had I not known my stuff. And then over the time, yep. I've achieved master mechanic, 2G, all that stuff. It's, I don't stop when I get somewhere. That's that, that's just your first step on the road. The destination is uh, wherever. Yeah, good, yeah. You can say anything, good. Yeah. What kind of oil do I put in my... Well, here, come, oh, come over come here. Oh, come on over here. here. Yeah, part, just let's, say it out loud right here. All right. Okay. Go ahead. It's safer. Yeah, it's safer <laughs> over here. <laughs> you look, look great. amazing. That's fine. All right. Okay. I have a Hyundai Kona. She has a Hyundai Kona. Wait. 2019. Okay. So a Hyundai. That's a wonderful question. Um, I'm pretty pretty sure. Let's see, I'm gonna say zero twenty. I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna say it's gonna be a zero W twenty weight oil. Um, it is also it's gonna be a full synthetic oil. So, you know, it's it's good. You get longer drain intervals and it protects your engine. 25,000 miles. Well, she's 2019. She has to follow her user's manual. Yep. You have to follow your user's guide when you're inside a warranty up to 36,000 miles. Yes. Then after 36,000 miles, you can go to some of the longer, longer lasting oils. Because, you know, some oils, like, you get 5,000 miles, some you get 10. The, the stuff we do is, is 10,000 miles. Yep. So... No, 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 no. It's it's a brand. It's a brand that we endorse. Yes, and so. we will give you our. Uh, I wish you oil. I'll Synthetic give you a, oil protection. I'll give you a card. Yep. I'll give you a card. Yep. You come down. I'm not far from here. Yep. We have all sorts of options. It's actually about a third of the money compared to any other oil. Is you only change your oil once a year, and you get better gas mileage. So the oil costs half the money you pay for because you save the gas money. Come down. Come down. Talk yep. to us. And we'll give you the full rundown. I'm at Boulder and Trout. Like, yep. I'm on. That's like I'm on American know, Pacific. So He's yep. on American Pacific and between Stephanie and Gibson. I'm gonna give. Somewhere. I'm gonna give you a card. Okay. I'm gonna give her a card. So, yeah. No problem. Yep. So there you go. You know, a lot of a lot of individuals are interested in taking care of their car. It's important. And uh, once again, if you're just getting to the end of the channel, definitely give it a thumbs up. We really appreciate you tuning in. You already yep. gave your number? Yep, I gave my you number. You gave your number? Yep. I'll give you my two numbers. We got the shop number 702-433-5823. We have the uh, bat line, 702-907-9227. Text me anytime. Um, and when I wake up in the morning and go to grab my coffee, I'll text you back. You can text me at 2 o'clock in the morning. I'll respond about 7. So, yep. um, gotta, I got to shout out. We were here at the Greek Bistro today. It's on 565 Mark Street in Henderson, Nevada. Um, they have fantastic, fantastic Greek food. We, we really tried it all today. Yes. 